Here it is, the final product. This right here is a freestanding patio cover. Now, when I say freestanding, I want to emphasize it is not attached to the house in any way, shape, or form, except for some small flashing so water doesn't crack, get in the crack there. But it's pretty simple. You know, you guys saw us do the footers, dig it all out. Pretty good footers here. One thing we had to fix, though, is this corner post right here has to be embedded in the concrete. It creates that strength that it prevents a wobble. So the plywood prevents the wobble going this direction, and the shear walls over here and this, this post in the uh, concrete right here prevents the wobble from this direction. Super solid, really happy with it. We got six by six posts, beams up top, and here's a cool detail. Since it's a mobile home and you walk out right here, to prevent your head from hitting it, we actually tied the rafter into it with a joist hanger, and then over on this side, it sits on top to create that height. So no matter where you're going, you're, you have height, and it worked out perfectly, and we have a nice slope, so water's flowing off. Over here, she wanted a uh, little laundry room built, so we just constructed, you know, it's kind of unorthodox the way you build it, and as you can see, that it's all sloped, and we just wanted to throw something together so she has a laundry and utility room. So here it is, outside, looks great room. We did uh, all this electrical in here. So we routed all the electrical for her, put some lights up. You know, it's, it's just very utility, very, you know, this isn't like a Scottsdale interior design type of, type of design here, but yeah, it works for her and it's just, you know, basic and she's really happy with it and it gets the job done. So here it is, you know, you can see how we continue the beam. Look at this. We continued the beam and post right into it and just kind of framed up around it. We did some small stem walls for her. We just kind of threw it together last second and said, hey, you know, let's prevent water from getting into the building. So we just built some stem walls for her, you know, gets the framing up off the ground. And uh, she's really happy with it. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about how we did this or any, you know, questions with the blueprints, if you're looking to do this on your mobile home or looking to do it freestanding away from any building, go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you like, subscribe, and as always, have a good day.